Hey Crushers, Young here, I'm bringing you a new Crush Small video. Today's video is going to be continuing the Arena uh, video series that I've been doing. Uh, as you can see, I've had 27 defensive wins today. That's substantially more than what I have been working with. Um, it's a wide variety of players. So, we're going to do our best to continue moving up. That is odd. Okay, against old Zed, Let's see if I can beat his team of nine. And I can. Excellent. <laughs> that was that was odd. <laughs> okay, so we got seventy from that. Eden. Fairly solid matchup there. His legendary two opponents are just insane. Wow, come on. Just now triggering Leaf Blade. Not gonna get through that. Okay. I do appreciate you guys continuing to watch, especially given that I've been doing videos all week. Anyone that's watched all of these, like, <laughs> my hat's off to you. Thank you. Monkey King kept me stunlocked pretty well. Monkey King can be really, really devastating if they are ruined correctly. Strong Water, Strong Vlad. 7-7 seven, seven Leaf Blade, wow. Okay. A similar team with Monkey King and Cersei for stall, but I do stand a better chance pulling off a win here. Come on, so close, yes. Alright. That one had me a little more nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Okay. That looks manageable. 7-7 seven, seven Skeleton Giant, so it's going to take a minute to cut through. But, Siegfried is behind Gladiator, so Gladiator's going to tank, letting Siegfried get some big hits in against that Skeleton Giant. So that's where Spawn Order really helped me out. Letting Gladiator be the wall that he was born and bred to be. Alright, so we have Aether. Debuffs with Kasume and Vlad in terms of movement and attack speed. Aqua to buff. That 7-7 seven, seven Atlantis with 7-7, seven, seven, right. Mm. So this is one that's designed to try and get you into a speed trap to where um, that Siegfried can destroy the you know your crystal quickly, so they're debuffing my hero speed, and then buffing their hero speed. But that does leave them a little bit weaker. I don't normally avoid teams like that because of the fact that I can typically cut through them pretty good. All right. 6-7 Vlad. Not a lot in terms of strong for the front line, though. I would need to get through uh, Kasume, which would go relatively quickly. I, I think I can handle this one. Let's do it. I need to get through that Magnus before Vlad fully heals. And I did. And then Chaos and Atlantis, which... Yep, I was able to do it. There we go. So I can beat PC. Um, I had, looking at the matchup, I thought that I had that one, so I'm glad to see that I was correct. Uh, Limp Chimp, I'd gotten a couple wins against before, if I recall correctly. That makes a solid choice for the two star option. Alright. 
Go for the 200 trophy option, not 2 star. I meant to say 200 trophy. Okay. Pretty decent. Can't beat any of these teams. So this is the team I've been avoiding all week. We will go ahead and <laughs> take a shot now. So here we go. Very stun heavy with the Tesla and the Zack, or not the Zack, the uh, Monkey King, Tesla and Monkey King. Good crowd control with the Parato as well, kept a lot of my stuff frozen, so when I wasn't frozen I was being stunned. Alright, Violet. Pretty strong offense with the Atlantis. If I can get that Atlantis down can probably pull off a win there. Mm. I could get a win here if I bring in... Who would I drop, though? I guess... I'll bring Spark in for this one, and I can get a win here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Changing my composition a little bit, so I can pull off an easier win. It's not about winning by a long shot, it's about winning at all. And as you can see, I was able to do so by making a quick alteration to my team. Okay. I don't think I can be any of these. Okay, Salty appears to be the easiest of the three. I'm going to have to uh, drop Spark and bring Groovine back in to help handle that Atlantis, and we'll see how things pan out. I, again, don't think that I can pull off a win, but this looked like the best options for victory. Yeah, complete control of my side kept me from doing anything. Frozen, stunned... Yeah. Okay. That's alright. Uh, Keener has a pretty strong team, very water heavy, usually keeps me frozen, so can't do a whole lot. I don't normally get wins unless it is barbarian season against Keener. Bonds. Solid team, man. I already know I can't take the last one. Okay. This looks fairly evenly matched, so we'll go ahead and roll the dice on it. Okay. My Monkey King went down quick. And just was not enough to get through everything there. If, monkey, if my Monkey King had lasted a little bit longer and gotten a little bit of stun in there, I probably would have done a heck of a lot better than I just did. I do not recognize this team. Hand, hands their lump. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a solid option for me to go up against, especially with my Siegfried. All I need to do is get a couple S2s up. Wow. Never mind. One S2. I needed one S2. Dang. Okay. So, hands their lump. That's a good good viable option for me. Mergis. Come on, big money. Let's see. Dealing with some stun, but still got an S2 off. It'd be really good if I could get another one. I did. I might stand a chance here. All I have to do is get through that chaos. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. Nice. That was a good one. That was a good and needed victory. Okay, so Rock. Solid team. Odin has one of the strongest sorrows in the game that usually ends up taking me out. And then Bloppy goes for the, the speed trap again, so since this is a pretty safe one for me to go up against, it's going to be my choice here. 
dealing with a little bit of lag, but hopefully my phone pulls through that. Okay. So speed trap did not get me, I was able to cut through it and make it to the enemy crystal. Alright, pulling even. Now I need to start pulling a win. <laughs> And then, no one. I can, I can get out of the stun lock. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. I jumped into it a little too fast. I, I regretted that decision as soon as I did. I cannot beat Elling. Let's take a look at Illidy. Zach for stun, but I should be able to get him with an S2. Everything else looks fairly manageable. That 7 7 Atlantis is concerning, but I do have my Gladiator and Groovine. Okay, so there's the Zack. Oh man, I needed a second S2 in there. Okay, well, that one's down the drain. Let's see. Okay, so we have Quibi, QB, been avoiding him, but if I can get wins here, that would help a lot. Definitely open up the door for some other options. Freeze locked me. I was kind of worried about that with the Frost Queen, but I was, I was hoping I'd be able to do a little bit more than that. Could never get through the Atlantis, so that front line did not get scraped. No wins there. Uh, we already know that we can win against Hanserlump. 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 Okay. Making progress. There we go. Flawless win that time. Rabbish and Chimp. Pretty even matchup, and then he gets a frenzied Furiosa. Okay, come on, start making some extra damage there. Got through it. Okay, so Ravishing Chimp is down. That makes. Alright, I don't think I can beat Keener. I really don't. Not this week. And Violet's gonna be tough too. Do Keener. I don't think I can get the win, but we will see. If I can get a couple S2s off, I would actually stand a chance. There's one. He's frozen. Come on! <gasps> come on, come on, come on! Oh my gosh! I got through Keener. Man, okay, I feel like that was still down to the wire, but I got a win against Keener, so. Desren, stall, stun, slight debuff, but the tanks aren't super strong, so I should be able to pull off a win here. I just gotta get a couple S2s off. All right. See, I could have gone for Death Spawn's bait team since I already know that I can beat it, but I was not going to get as many trophies, and it's cutting, it's coming down to the wire. If we're going to hit Legendary three this week, I've got to be able to get through. I already know I can beat Bloppy. This is that um, the Speed Trap team. So you can see it's damaging my crystal, but I have enough of my hero still alive that it's not able to really do any major damage. So I'm able to get through him and destroy the enemy crystal. Oh, come on. I need that arrow. Ravishing Chimp. If I can get one more win here, I mean, this should do it. I got another Frenzy. I got Frenzied last time, too. 
come on. Just cut through, that's all we need. We just need to get through this line. Come on, come on, come on. All right, yes. This is the best chance that we've got to make Legendary 3 this week. I'm really hoping that was enough to do it. Oh man, okay. Well, the day's not over. I could still get some more defensive wins. We'll see where I'm standing after reset, and uh, hopefully we'll be in Legendary 3 this time. Uh, that's all I've got for this video. I appreciate the fact that you guys are still, like, going through all of these, watching all these arena battles. You can kind of see where I'm making my choices based on the composition of the enemy team that I'm going up against, and these are the kinds of decisions that you have to make while doing your arena battles. You guys can be a little, take a little more time than I'm taking, since I'm trying to rush through to get the video done in a concise manner, um, but this should give you, you know, a good glimpse at what, what the battles are looking like up here at the top. So, I do appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the last video in the series. Thank you.